Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another video tutorial on the Injective ecosystem. My first two videos, we talked about the Helix Decentralized Exchange, and here my focus is going to be on the Injective Hub. So I've received a number of questions over the last few days, and today I was asked, how do I get my Injective transferred over into the Injective Hub if I have it on the Helix Decentralized Exchange. And then I got another question, how do I stake my injective? You can see that's gonna be pretty self-explanatory right here. We're gonna take a look at that as well. But I'm also going to go deep into the fees. And uh, earlier today, ironically, there was a video posted, I believe it might be somebody related to either the Cura project or one of those uh, tokens that you found on the Helix Decentralized Exchange. Uh, and they actually used the MetaMask wallet with the Ethereum blockchain. They had some Ethereum that they went ahead and swapped on Uniswap. And you could see the fees that they had to pay. And it was brutal, confiscatory, if you will. So we're going to take a look at that as well. I'm going to cover it cradle to grave here. And then we're going to end up staking some injective right here on the site. And it looks like the current APR is 15.62%. So... As a reminder, I am not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. I'm doing this for simply entertainment and education purposes only. Uh, again, you're assuming the full risk by following any of the steps or actions that I take while making this video. So again, please be safe out there. Uh, you know, uh, just be careful. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I've got down to the sense exactly how this is going uh, to cost us versus, uh, or I should say, I have this. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here and talk about how this is going to work and how these fees are going to work. So what I did was I bought $100 worth of Atom on Coinbase and transferred that into my wallet, right? By the time I was done, it, I had $95.82 of Atom, right? It was like 8.18 Atom based on today's market price. And I paid $4.18 in fees because that 95.82 plus 4.18 would have brought me right to $100. So $4.18 in fees in order to get that Atom into my Kepler wallet. Now, I am not picking on the other video that was shared with me today. In fact, I'm gonna give you the link to that video down in the description of this video so that you can take a look at yourself and see exactly what I'm gonna be showing you. And again, if you're an Ethereum holder and you've got a whole bunch of Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet, then you, know, you would wanna do what that video is showing you. I'm simply trying to show individuals who probably or I should say, who maybe don't have Ethereum in the MetaMask wallet, how to avoid paying some just brutal fees. And you're gonna see those fees. I took screenshots of that video so that I can show you that as well. So getting the Atom into my Kepler wallet, $4.18. And so here's how you can get the Injective onto the Injective Hub. It's actually going to show up when you connect up here in the upper right hand corner when you connect your Kepler wallet, right? And so let's go back to the Helix, Helix Exchange uh, where we were before. And you can see it's that same wallet. If I go to account, here we are. You can see I have no Atom on here at all right now. I've got 0.6514 injective though. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna make a deposit. I want it to come from the Cosmos hub. You can see there's, I had a little Cosmos laying around from previous stuff. So I had 8.9. So we're going to take eight, right? We might as well make this worthwhile here. So I'm going to take eight Atom and I'm going to deposit that onto the Helix Decentralized Exchange. And you can see it's about $93.52. Let's confirm this. Because in addition, and again, we want to make sure we get this right down to the penny, we've got an eight cent fee here. That is it. So $4.18 so far plus eight cents is going to be $4.26. I'm going to go ahead and click approve. And again, this is my swap. I should say this is me basically bridging or depositing uh, the atom onto the Helix Decentralized Exchange. So now if I go back to account, as you would expect, there are the eight Atom, right around $93.52. So 
So again, I want injective. So I'm going to come up to trade. I'm going to do a swap here. We're going to do a straight one for one swap. I'm going to say I want my atom to be all swapped out here for injective. And I'm going to do the max. We're going to do all eight, right? So again, you can see the fees right down here. It looks like we're looking at about 37 cents. It's about 18 and change to go from Adam to USDT and then from USDT to Injective. Now, again, remember the rate expired. You've got five seconds to lock it in uh, and click it again or else it expires like this and you've got to click refresh and then I'm going to go ahead and click swap. So we're looking at 37. I'll go ahead and round up to 38 cents. And that is going to take us to $4.64. Uh, and actually, you've got a transaction fee of $0.04, cents, so we're going to say $4.68. All right. So I'm at $4.68, and you can see we did the successful swap. And we'll say back to swap. So now if I go to account, you'll notice that I have 2.8. 594 injective. Well, here's the thing. When you go to the injective hub and you connect your Kepler wallet, what happens when I click on wallet? Well, there it is. There's that injective, right? So here it shows 2.86. Over here on the Helix exchange, it's 2.8594. So again, rounding error, they're just dropping the decimal, whatever the case may be. So the injective will show up here. Now, again, we are at $4.68 in fees. So now I'm going to pull some screenshots up of the video. And again, I'll share you, I'll give you the link. Again, full disclosure, I'm going to give you the link so you can watch the video. So if you're an Ethereum holder, right, this is going to make sense. If you've got a bunch of Ethereum and it's in your MetaMask wallet, this is probably, if you wanted to get injective on the injective hub to do whatever with, this would probably be the way to do it. But here's what I want you to see right? He paid $13.81 to swap 0.03 Ethereum, so $68.85. And I went over, right? I did $100 in Atom because I want to make sure that, you know, it's, you know, I can't say it's apples to apples here, but again, I bought more Atom, right? I bought $100 in Atom. Uh, so take a look right here. So this is the swap fee on Uniswap, he paid $13.81 to do the swap. When I did the swap, I paid 38 cents and then four cents, right? If we combine those two, so I paid 42 cents to do my swap from Adam to Injective on Helix. He did uh, $68 of Ethereum to Injective and paid $13.81 here. Now, that's what this doesn't include, right? Keep in mind that if you're buying Ethereum on an exchange, Coinbase, Binance, you know, um, what, whatever the Kraken, whatever the case may be, if you're buying Ethereum there, you're going to pay a fee for that too on top of the fee to move that from the, the exchange, right, from whatever exchange you bought that Ethereum on, you're going to end up paying another fee to transfer that on the Ethereum blockchain into your wallet, whether it be MetaMask or whatever the Ethereum wallet is that you're using, right? Overwhelming majority of people, probably going to be MetaMask. So there's two fees that we aren't even accounting for right now. The purchase of the Ethereum, the transfer of the Ethereum out of the exchange into your MetaMask wallet. Those we don't even know what they are, but it's still going to be exponentially more to do this. So $13.81 just to do the swap on Helix, Atom to Injective, $0.42. Cents. So compare that, right? $13.81 versus $0.42. Cents. Now, that is doing the swap, right? Remember, uh, once he does the swap, he now needs to get the injective that he had, uh, that he received as part of that swap. He now needs to get that here, right? And he's going to be bridging that from Ethereum. And you can see it's from the Ethereum network to the injective network because he's not done. That injective he received is still on the Ethereum blockchain. So now we need to bridge it over here to the injective network. And 
there is a $6.22 fee to do that on $67.90, right? Now, again, I am, this is not me picking on the maker of the video. The Ethereum fees, it is what it is, right? I mean, you're gonna have to pay those Ethereum fees if you're using Ethereum, and which is why I don't use Ethereum ever. And uh, a comment that I left one of the um, individuals that asked me a question was, the last time I used Ethereum, and this was back in the gravy days when everything was going bananas, I paid a $242 Ethereum fee. And that was the last time I used Ethereum because I looked at that and I'm like, this is nuts, right? So right now it's $13.81 to do the swap on Uniswap. It's $6.22 to bridge it from Ethereum over to the injective network. So on basically like $68 to get that in as injective onto the injective uh, chain, we're looking at $20 and three cents. And remember what I said, that doesn't even include the purchase of the Ethereum and then the transfer off the exchange into your MetaMask wallet. And so there's additional fees there and let's just lowball it and say it's five bucks, right? And it's probably gonna be more than that. But if I lowballed it and said it was gonna cost you $5 in fees to buy it and transfer it into your MetaMask wallet, you're now at $25 in fees on, let's round up, 70 bucks, right? I mean, that's like 30, that's more than 30%. You're paying 30% to get that stuff just here onto the injective chain. And again, the guy that came to me that was the catalyst behind the original video I did on how to do this cheaper, right? This is what he was facing as well. And so uh, let's take a look here. So I did, you know, I did a quick screenshot. And again, I clicked this to know before I did it. But here you go, right? When I bought the Atom, um, it was $2.99 and the purchase was going to be $97.01. And then I did the transfer, right? And they're going to take a little bit out for the transfer. That $97.01 then dropped down to $95. Uh, 98 and, uh, or I'm sorry, 95.82, because there was a 23 cent network fee that I paid. Uh, and like I said, 95.82 was what I ended up with, right? So the total that it cost me, or I should say, total was 96.05, but again, 23 cent fee. So everything I've shown you right now, and here we are, uh, what am I showing this for? And this is just showing that the transfer was done, right? So $4.18, to buy the Atom, move it into my Kepler wallet, and this is from Coinbase, and then I do my swap, 38 cents, and then a four cent network fee. We're at $4.68, as opposed to, if you did all those steps, and again, we low ball that $5, $25 in fees. That's insane. Now, uh, again, and the individual that made the video for Kira Injective, actually commented was very upfront that, you know, this is expensive. And maybe if you're doing a larger amount of, of, of money, right? Like $5,000, maybe that's not a big deal. But the majority of people that I know are not moving that kind of weight. <laughs> and they're looking at, you know, 100 bucks, 250 bucks, right? So the fees make a huge difference. Okay, let me drop back over here. Because again, uh, we do the swap right there. On the Injective Hub, I did not see a way to do a swap here. So if, if you know how to swap on the Injective Hub, maybe it saves us a step from having to do it on the Helix uh, DEX, right? But it was the Helix DEX where I figured, hey, I, you know, I'm already dialed in there. Let me do the swap. And it shows up here automatically, right? So then it's pretty straightforward at this point. How do I stake, right? Well, I like the calculator they show, right? So, you know, how many Injective are you going to stake? And at 15.62%, you know, what's my daily return gonna be, right? Well, if you had 165 injective, you know, you'd be looking at $3 a day. I don't, I, in fact, I, I can't even remember what we have here. Uh, what was the balance of the injective? I think it's only two injective. Let me refresh, make sure that's right. I think it's 2.85. So we've got 2.85 injective. Uh, and so I'm gonna say delegate now and uh, you know, you can pick a delegator based on however you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's just pick. And you can see there's commissions involved here, right? So these people are are taking a little bit off the top as well. It looks like 5% is 
pretty decent. Uh, and these guys have quite a bit of injective stank. Well, so does everybody. Let's let's do this here. Let's do it like that. And we're going to go with Citadel 1. This is, and again, I'm not making a recommendation here. I use Citadel 1 for any of the staking that I do. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, delegate now, collaborative effort. Now I'm going to continue to delegate. And we're just going to do the max, right? I'm going to do 2.85 is already calculated by the max. We'll say delegate. And what's it going to cost me? A penny, right? That cost me a penny to do the delegation. Hopefully I've got enough injective left to cover that. I'm sure it would have told me I, if I didn't. And then there you go, right? So on the injective hub, if you stake your injective, you're earning 15.62% right now. So not bad. You can see they've got this cool little claim all right here and you're, you're earning injective. So the injective that you earn, you could then claim and then turn around and compound and re, you know, stake that, turn around and restake that right away. All right, well, that is going to do it. Again, I'm hoping that these videos are helping you out. Like I said, I'm just a guy trying to help a buddy save some money. And this has kind of spiraled into a bunch of different questions that I've received around how to do certain things. And I wanted to make sure that I put out there that, you know, yeah, if you're an Ethereum user and you got a whole bunch of Ethereum of Ethereum and it's in a MetaMask wallet, then you know, you're going to end up paying those fees. However, there is a much cheaper way to do it. $25 in Ethereum fees. Again, we're ballparking that $5 at the end there. But what you saw on the screen and what you'll see if you watch the video below, which again is a great video. It talks about a lot of the Injective Hub and sort of the ecosystem. Uh, but I much rather prefer doing it like this for right now. And I'll round that penny up that we just lost right there to two pennies. $4.70 for $100 an atom to go ahead and get it over here and stake as injective. All right. Again, really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your time. I know how valuable it is. Hopefully, this is going to save you quite a bit in fees. Again, if you're not locked in with Ethereum, I would not go the Ethereum route uh, just based on the amount in fees, right? It's kind of crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas and... A Christmas Eve. And that's all I've got, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.